see you ain't stood a chance Why you even try? You ain't even want it So kiss the game goodbye I'ma show you how I do it You can go and cry Matter of fact, when I think about it You should go and die What is up everybody? How y'all doing? It's Blizz Ricks Don't forget to turn the notifications on For my page It will be right here on the screen So you can know how to do it You can pause it, whatever now, the Peacekeeper is back in Black Ops. Now, originally, the Peacekeeper from Black Ops 2, to me, wasn't really all that dope. I mean, when it first came out as a DLC weapon with, what was it, the first or second map pack? I can't remember. But when it first came out, it was a decent gun. And I, I didn't even see that guy right there in the corner just hiding like a little turd. <laughs> but look, the Peacekeeper, when it first came out, it was pretty decent weapon you know it was cool it was good it did what it had to do i noticed it had a lot of recoil in black ops 2 and then i guess it became a little bit better on the recoil later on but now it's like completely nerfed i mean towards the end of the game's life cycle that that gun was just horrible i mean no one uses it because it sucks so bad this gun right now i really hope it stays the same i hope it stays exactly like this now Knowing my luck, as soon as I get a, a lot of kills with this thing, it's going to be nerfed. <laughs> I mean, that's just how it is. Every time I just happen to be good with a weapon, it just gets nerfed. So I'm just going to enjoy this while I can and get as much out of it as I can. But yeah, now about this gun. A lot of people are, are already saying this gun is OP. No, it's, it's not. Trust me. Believe me when I tell you, it's not OP. First off, to even get kills with this thing, you have to get the first shot. You absolutely have to. And then you can't miss a shot. You can't miss. And if you do miss, you have to hope the other, the, the enemy misses. You ha they ha Something has to miss for you to get that shot. You have to hit all the bullets, man. It is, it's very weak. The only thing that can really help it is rapid fire. Now, me, I'm using it right now without rapid fire. And it's like, it's got a nice... It's got a nice little, you know, rap. It's got a nice fire rate. But I mean, that's good for the now. Close range, it gets destroyed by everything. Like, oh my god. I was playing Search last night. I mean, not last night, but I mean, Saturday night. I was playing Search, and, and this gun was just getting destroyed by the VMP. I mean, VMPs, CUDAs uh vespers i was just getting destroyed i'm like all right cool these guys aren't gonna let me have fun <laughs> but i mean I, I had to switch to a vmp i mean i just can't do it this gun sucks when it comes to close range combat i mean i mean I, what can i say it can't compete against a sub if they shoot first and everything i mean it's crazy man i i shot first a couple of times and they just still annihilated me none of them were using rapid fire it's <laughs> it's frustrating I had to use rapid fire just to sort of maybe have a narrow escape, man. Like, oh my lord. But I mean, this gun is fun to use, you know? In the hands of in the right hands, this gun is a beast. In the right hands, it it melts. <laughs> I had the air quotes when I said that too. It melts. I swear that's the that's the phrase everyone goes to, you know? But I mean for me, I like this gun. This is this has right now become my favorite gun because all the guns, I'm just sitting and switching around like, yo, what can I use? I don't know what to use. Because I, I, they just adjusted the guns and everything performs a little bit differently now. Like, I don't know if you guys noticed, I don't really use the Man of War as much as I used to. I like using a Man of War. It's sad. The Man of War is still one of my top five favorite weapons in this game. But, you know, the Peacekeeper has just instantly found his home in my heart, you know? This is just a fun weapon, and that guy, man, his shot was just terrible. But yeah, man, this gun is definitely, definitely good. If you guys are lucky enough to get this gun, I, I suggest you try it out. Use, use the stuff I have on it, man. You don't necessarily need quick draw. That's what I realized. I mean, if you don't, don't run around trying to like do that. Always pre-aim, I guess. Pre-aim some things. Make sure your shot is good. But yeah, other than that, I mean, the gun is. It's cool then you could try rapid fire like for search i used grip and rapid fire that's all i have on it i didn't use anything else just grip rapid fire and fast hands um death silence awareness oh, look at that guy i don't know what he thought he was gonna do he wasn't gonna get me ever again <laughs> i mean that was just it for that 
Like, nah, son, step back. You're not gonna hit me with your your staff of doom. That's just not happening, son. Back up. But yeah, man, I like I like I like the gun. You know, it's a very interesting gun. Uh, far as the supply drop stuff, I mean, to be honest, more guns in the game really wouldn't hurt. The drop rates on them could be lowered though. That's someone I can say. You know, like it shouldn't take so long just to get these weapons for people. I mean, unless you get cob points, you're not really gonna you know get. This. I mean, yes, I did spend cob points. So what? Sue me. You know, fight me if you don't like that. Yes, I bought COD points. It doesn't really take that much to get the weapons anyway, though. I'm just lucky enough. But yeah. I mean, I thought it was cool. The gun does what it needs to do. <laughs> I like how it sounds. Look, look, look at that. I don't know what this guy... I think my connection was just great this game. That's just... That's also another factor, your connection. I mean, if you have a bad connection, bad hit detection, I mean... You know, you're not really going to prosper. That's just... That's just how COD works, you know? If you have a good connection to the game, everything's gonna work out for you. But yeah, other than that, I mean, there's not really much I can say about the weapon other than it does what it needs to do, you know? It, it does exactly what you need. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're playing against better players, this is definitely not the gun to use. Like, if you got people, like, dropping streaks in your lobby and they're on the other team, yeah, don't use this gun. Use something a little stronger, like use the VMP, control that recoil, maybe the CUDA. But this gun, ah, man, you're going to have a hard time. If, you, if you're not also a good player, you're going to have a hard time, <laughs> you know. But I mean, whatever, man. This is not an easy mode gun. It has low recoil, nice fire rate to it. I say it's somewhere in between. It's, a, it's, a, it's an auto rifle, you know. It's somewhere around the KN. It feels like the KN. It feels, it feels like a, a KN Razorback hybrid. That's what it feels like. You know, it, that, that's the kind of a feel that you'll get. You know, it's it's little favorite towards the Razorback. With a hint of KN. But I mean, that's I guess that's what they wanted to go to. I mean, that's the best way I can describe the gun. But I mean, for me, it's good. For other people, it might not be as good. But yeah, it's, it's not an easy mode weapon. I mean, it's, it's something to help you do what you want to do. It's a fun weapon. That's all I can say about it, but I mean, people, if you got the if you got this gun already, let me know what it, how you feel about it in the comments section below. And anything anything you want to ask me, just drop in the comments below. I'm Blizz Rig. See you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.